Hi, my name is Fernando, and I'm a technical marketing manager here at GitLab. And today I'm going to go over some of the newly released security features in GitLab 14.2. The first new security feature that we can see is tracking the usage of dependency scanning and fuzz testing within our group. Previously, you can only track adoption of these GitLab features through the API. Now it can be done within the group view. This allows us to know what groups have adopted certain security practices. Now let's take a look at this. So here is a GitLab group for all of our DevSecOps projects. If we go to analytics and click on DevOps adoption, we can go to SEC for security. And we can see that DAST has been adopted, SAST has been adopted, but dependency scanning and fuzz testing hasn't. This helps us audit our groups and make sure that the appropriate scans are being run. The next security feature we've added is improved vulnerability tracking for GoSec, SEMGREP, and Breakman analyzers. So we've developed this new vulnerability tracking algorithm that's more advanced and looks at the signature of the vulnerability rather than it's just its location. This is because the location can change each time code is refactored or altered. Now we can identify the same vulnerability even after it has moved locations. Currently it's only in GoSec, SEMGREP, and Breakman, but we will continue to expand it to other scanners for other languages. And the last security feature I wanted to go over was adding compliance framework labels to group level project lists. Compliance framework labels are now shown on the group level project list, allowing us to identify at a glance which projects have a specific compliance framework applied. Here within my DevSecOps group, I can see that Simply Simple Notes has SOX compliance for GKE applied. This makes it easy to see which projects require certain types of compliance or are adhering to a certain compliance framework. And thanks for watching.